difficult to find and usual problem with the wikis where the content gets um, scattered and, and disappears or just it's not visible. So uh, one of the things that we want to work on is to have a, a much better portal for the international community, for all the communities, all the uh, user groups that they can advert, where you can go, it's one reference point to see who's active, what's, what's happening where, and uh, at what time, and what's, uh, who's the contact point, and, and all of that. So that's, I hope, will be uh, available soon, very soon. Oh, and we have the... That's true, you're right. Yeah, you, you too, I see every now and then. Uh, yeah, and we have a mailing list with all the... Um, all the coordinators of the user groups. It's still, I mean, I know that it's not the super, the most visible and most easy, most friendly to, to users. Um, so we're improving on that, but at the moment, it, these are the tools that we have. Um, so lists.openstack.org has got the full list and it's called community. No problem. And uh, the OpenStack uh, dash community channel. Yeah, I share some experience to uh, how to kick off your local community at first. Uh, I, I think the best way is to bring back what you see and what you learn in this summit, oh. including the slide, then be the first topic you can share in your local community. Then as for the promotion channel, you can try to connect with the local uh, organizations like some kind of industrial association. Uh, for my experience in Taiwan, we connect with uh, IT uh, industry uh, association. Then we just promote through their channels, then you can get very, uh, very good uh, uh, response and you can get at least a lot of people can and uh, uh, hear what you say. And the third one is instead of inviting some uh, uh, figurehead from, <laughs> from the state to, to your country, you also can try to uh, invite some uh, community leaders nearby. Maybe, uh, for example, we, we in Asia, we, we uh, have invited uh, guest speakers from Japan user group and we try to invite some maybe in the future from China user group then to share with each other. That's another way for you to promote and to increase your, your visibility. Yeah, thank you. I, I like that suggestion. I like it's a, it's a very nice actionable item for, for everybody that the one to take one of the presentations that you've seen today, one of the things that you've seen these days and uh, bring it back home. One of the first things that you can do is say, hey, I've been there. I will tell you what I've learned. And it's one way to start. Um, I think they will be available by Monday next, next week. I hope so. Uh, if it's not Monday, it's going to be Tuesday. Sure, right? I think that that's the agreement. Uh, I have uh, one question. Uh, I'm coming from Japan, and uh, in Japan, uh, there are some uh, meta user group named the uh, Cloud Mix. We are uh, talking about uh, every cloud solution, including the OpenStack and Cloud Stack, so on. So we are very easy to start the uh, OpenStack community be because uh, there are such uh, meta communities already have. And how about uh, any other countries? Other countries also talking about uh, such a uh, all of the cloud technologies or only all the OpenStack technologies? How about uh, <laughs> any suggestions? Is there any such a meta user group or only Japan, such a uh, mixed users? So are you asking in other countries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort yeah, of yeah. overall, I would over, overarching share groups? That, yeah. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's one, one useful thing about that I see about meetup.com is if you do join up, it will, and you put your interests in, it will point you to other groups on meetup.com locally. And there's, there's, you know, if you put Python in there and cloud computing, and it'll, it'll pull out um, other groups in your area that you can go and um, either go there and approach them or invite them to your group. In this case, 
Yes, I think that's very easy to start the new Postal community, I think, yes. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, submitting, submitting uh, papers or submitting proposals to speak at some other, other local events is one of the way of, of um, getting the OpenStack name out there to people that are ready to, to understand it. So, um, so I've been through, I mean, I, I, there were uh, very interesting suggestions so far already. Um, definitely we need to work on this best practice to promote the cloud in developing countries. This is something that is um, not just developing countries. I know, I know Italy would, <laughs> would be, that would be good material. Uh, I know a lot of places where the cloud, and I think even the US, it's, um, there is, um, a, I don't think it's really, it's very common. Uh, there are still a lot of people that don't understand the cloud and that's normal. So it's our job to, to educate them. Um, Definitely, yeah. And even, as we, I, I think we, we might have missed it at the very start, we were talking about even the lower level of that, starting with what is cloud computing, because as I said, a lot of people just don't get that for a start. So you talk, why just explaining OpenStack? They don't even know what a cloud is. So that's that's something, you know, I don't think that would be too difficult to put in a, a header line of those sort of documents that are mm -hmm. being developed just to start. I don't know, Michael, have you got any thoughts on you know, I, I know in the Australian market, it's sort of, it's, it's getting better that we've had that problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we can make it simple. What is cloud? It's OpenStack. And there, <laughs> yeah, great chance. <laughs> Technologies uh, that uh, suppose that you speak English or uh, at least you read it, and which which do you think would be the uh, conversion ratio <laughs> after you have uh, uh, translated documentation for OpenStack? I think the problem is that uh, people is not using OpenStack because they do not know what cloud is. So this, the, the first problem is to to speak about cloud. Yeah. The second point is that in, in Italy, uh, people think that cloud is virtualization and virtualization is VMware. So they think it's simple <laughs> and it's not that simple, okay? It's not just Italy. I mean, I, as I said, it's all, there are lots of places also in the US that have the same, the same problems, you know, the same, the same miscomprehension or misunderstanding. Uh, um, regarding the point of translation, of the documentation, I think it's something that we have to do it regardless of um, whether we get to the, um, not just documentation, also we, we talked about error messages and all of that stuff. Uh, if it's more accessible, more people will feel less intimidated to buy the technology and will, even if they, yeah sure, they need to understand English somehow, but not the 100 people that will be operating and, and deploying Maybe one person on the team is the, 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 the one that will write the bug report in English, in proper English, but everybody else on the team um, can, can, keep, uh, can keep ignoring English. I, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good idea to have documentation. And it's not a big effort. I think it should be, like we said, it should be something like an exercise for, for newcomers. Uh, people have like 10 minutes uh, or an, 
an hour spare on a Sunday afternoon you want to do something relaxing but yeah <coughs> can you mm, imagine if this translation should be the whole documentation or, or you can imagine a step by step uh, a step by step uh, you, you, yeah step by step and, and we have tools to do that I mean I've uh, I, I, when I was at Twitter, I saw the, the, the whole UI and the whole documentation of Twitter. The, everything is crowdsourced. Everything is translated a piece by piece. Um, and there are tools that help you do all, all that. So it, it's really not an excuse. I don't think we have a good excuse not to do it. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it's the same as OpenStack. Does OpenStack have a mature uh, translation mechanism of multi-language abstraction layer today? Not yet. Uh, we talked about it. I mean, there was a discussion not that, uh, not to yeah, rec fairly recently, S about isolating and putting error yeah. codes instead of. M maybe you can steal some code. The one thing that I know is very mature is the Plone CMS yeah. that has I think like eighty languages and is fully translated. I know. Um, and there is all Python beneath, so that may be an option for you guys. Definitely, it's an example. I I used I loved Plone. most translated document so that we can start from there. Yeah, I'm sure Transitex does it. I will look into it and uh, definitely I will work with you to do it. <laughs> OK, thanks. Then, Kwai, you have the mic. Uh, sure. Another question is on the case study slash references. So you know, when, when we sell this, I mean, we, we, we give this to the, 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 the communities in, uh, in Vietnam, mm -hmm. we've got to show them where is a similar user in other countries, where, where can I find that? Uh, the, the case studies for users, um, they're on openstack.org slash user stories. Yeah, yeah. yeah there'll be more. There's a, there will be more. A, there's a schedule as part of the, 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 the um, board's planning to um, have a certain amount up there per month over the next, I think I saw that yesterday. So. Yes. And the cool thing is that we already have the, the, the CMS already supports translation. We just didn't have the resources until now to do it. And now we're ramping up with uh, hiring people at the foundation. So we'll eventually we will get there. It's in the, it's definitely in the plan. Is there anyone from the USA? No? One. Good. I, Two. As I see it, as I see it, we in this room are the future of, OpenStack. Um, it is, as I have been quoted before saying, cloud for the rest of the world. Um, it does present a unique opportunity for all sorts of nations to build all sorts of clouds based around this technology, decouple themselves from proprietary solutions. And I know this is very popular in China because there was the, the, the opening of the, the conference there was, was um, that OpenStack will smash the monopoly of the Western cloud providers. And that was a government guy that came out and said that. Um, so what I'd like to see is you know, keep feeding the ideas back up to us and we'll, we'll just keep um, plugging these in. And, and there's, there's Tim here, there's Wei, there's Ben, Steph obviously <coughs> myself. Um, push them into the board, get the internationalization of this, this um, wonderful technology down pat. As I said, this is the future of it, so we have to do this. So, um, I think o o only employ Obstag and other open source we can uh, compete in the Western uh, IT gens. Uh, through open uh, ob source. In the cloud computing area, I think uh, if we, in the uh, next five years, if you want to do cloud business or do the uh, virtualization layer business, you must employ open source, open stack. Uh, uh, or you will be uh, 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 or you will be knocked out 
by the by the market dominated by VMware. So I I think this is very great opportunities for for for, for developing countries like China. <laughs> cool. I think we can wrap it up with that actionable items, with that good suggestions. I think it was uh, good to talk to you, to listen to your stories. And uh, my my references are up there. Feel free to uh, send me an email. Uh, reach out to me on IRC. I'm usually up on uh, Pacific time, US. So I'm available. Thank you. <laughs>